June. Is it the 22nd today? April 22nd, ladies and gentlemen, 2024. April 22nd, 2024. 2024. Maddie K is in the house. Maddie K. Maddie K. Maddie K. I was informed, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, Howard Stern this morning mentioned me on his program. How do you like them? That, how do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? Apparently, he massacred my name, but the intention was there. The intention was there. <laughs> Maddie K in the house. house. Folks, I came up with a new riff, and we're going to play it for you right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. And I do have uh, I do have lyrics to this, but we got to get the we got to get the riff down first, and then I'll 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 bring the words to the fore. But for now, you can hear. You gotta, you gotta hear the Savage Jam. It's good for you. It's good for your soul and good for your corns. Souls and corns, cold and corn. Uh, enough. Enough. Two, three.
like that. <laughs> I couldn't quite remember how we were going to end it. But we did it. Thank you, Maddie K. Thank you, Maddie K. We appreciate that. Oh, Maddie K. Maddie K. We got Eric Gale out there in the house. Sam Stamos. A whole crew of individuals has come to wish us a fine Monday. Monday, Monday. Going on the road this week. KMT is hitting the doggone road. Check the website for deets. But our first stop is going to be in Toledo. Toledo area. Maumee is the name of the town that you will find the Village Idiot. That's where we'll be playing. The Village Idiot. They got good pizza there. Oh, it's so damn delicious. And we're going to have it. They're going to have that juicy pizza. It will be so doggone delicious. And then we're headed down to uh, <clears throat> Evansville, Indiana. Mojo's Boneyard, one of our favorite haunts. We'll be there on Friday, Saturday. We're going to be in Warrington, Missouri at a place called the Blue House Theater. That place is awesome. That's a great venue. We're going to scald that place down to the doggone ground in a benevolent way, not in a literal sense of tragedy and mischief. Uh, and then we got a few days to just kind of chill like villains. Then we're going to find ourselves in uh, beautiful uh, Tulsa on a Wednesday night at a place called the Mercury Lounge. We've rocked that joint before, and we played it hard and fast and deep. And then the very next night, we're going to be at uh, the Beam Live. I think that's just another name for the other place we've always played in Oklahoma City, that place. Uh, uh, that's a cool joint. They got good food there, too. I like food. I like food. It's so damn delicious. And then we're going to find ourselves where? The Dallas Inton. National Guitar Show. That's always a good festival down there in Dallas. Down there in Dallas at the Market uh, Plaza. That's where um, uh, that's where JFK was headed before he had his untimely situation there in, in uh, Dallas. He was going to do a little luncheon there. And, uh, and that's where the Guitar Festival is now. So um, that's where, just a little aside... A little aside there for you. And then on the way back, we're going to hit uh, Fitzgerald's in Chicagoland in Berwyn, Illinois on May 8th. We're going to be there. So check out the doggone website for deets, and it's going to make you feel so right. It's not in Dealey Plaza. It's in Market, Market Square, Market something. It's the market. I'm losing it. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not in Dealey Plaza, although I've been there. Yeah, many, many times I've gone there and said, whoa, it's a lot smaller than you think. A lot smaller. And I stood on the that thing where Zapruder was, and I, you know, I took a little thing of a car going by. Just, on the other side of the track, you know, the Yes. What's my choice of amp today? I'm using the Tone King Royalist today. And I have it on the... Uh, the 1964 setting, which is the JTM 45 setting, and uh, it's not so damn juicy. I got it on about six. I got the uh, I got the attenuator engaged one click back. But I do have the gristle king. So this is without the gristle king. It's got a little slap coming from the old uh, Dalai Lama from our friends at Jam Pedals. And then when I hit the Gristle King, that's how it it, br it brings the damn heat. Am I right or am I right? It brings the heat. Hey, Gary Lopez, what's going down? I've been, uh, I've been messing around with this creature. Been messing around with that... Uh, uh, B-Bender, G-Bender thingy. The G-Bender. B-Bender. Greetings from Germany. Greetings. Greetings to you. All right. What are we going to do now? Well, we can do whatever we want to do. We can do whatever we want. And let's do a little bit of that Holy Grail. That was fun. There, there, there. You got you. Oh, yeah. Put that up there on here.
hear that music? Did you hear that music? It's good for your soul. Did you hear that music? Out of control. Did you hear that music? Mickey says, I mean, I know I'll never sound like the master of gristle. Well, you never know. My next guitar, I'm going to purchase right there. Well, thank you. I do love this guitar. I do like, you know, as much as I like my Tosa Turquoise and all those various tone hues, the gold, the black, uh, the Bradford Beach Blue, there's something about this. They do a three-tone sunburst right. I think it looks fantabulous. It's a beautiful guitar. It'll fill you with joy. Fill you with joy. Fantastic tone today, Gristle Master. Well, thank you. I'm glad you dig it. Hey, from Australia. Down in Australia, the spiders will bite your genital. Ye better watch out. You better take care. Song about Australia. Down in Australia, they got spiders down there. You know what they'll do? Well, you heard it here first. People say, have you been to Australia? What could you recommend to me as a safety tip? Well, put some salves and healing balms on your genitalia because those spiders are going for it. They're going to be biting, nibbling, and nibbling, and biting, biting, nibbling, and nibbling, and biting, biting, nibbling, and biting. Um... Uh, Andy Cooper says, Greg, you play with quite a bit of game, but every note is clear. How the F do you do it? Well, I appreciate that kind of positive reinforcement. Uh, you know, I don't know. I've, I always... Uh, um, just do it. I just do it. You know, I set the amp kind of a little bit dirty. I to turn the volume down, it cleans up. Okay, and I'll tell you what it does. It goes, it goes. Blues man is watching from a bunker in Antarctica. Hey there, blues man in Antarctica. You can't run, you can't hide. When the end comes, it doesn't matter if you're here or there. It doesn't matter if you're wearing clean underwear. You're dead. You're dead. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You may have stocked up on your beans and your water. Nothing gonna save you from the slaughter. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> You know, I came up with this little tune the other day. I don't even know how it goes. I think it's a blues. Oh, you know what it is? It's kind of like a... Um, uh, come on along. This is how we learn songs. This is a good thing. This is a good thing to learn. I get a little wild hair up my buttocks, and I say, Hey, bros, let's try this jam. Uh... One and then it goes to the five, and then it goes back to the one, and then it goes to the four. So it goes up. Here, I'll play the rhythm with it. One, a two, and one, two, three.
we did it. I made that little melody up the other day as kind of a Dickie Betts tribute. Dickie Betsy. Yeah. It's a Dickie Betts tribute. Dickie Betts, Dickie Betts. He was one of my all-time favorites. I did have a song called Sure Bets off the... Uh, that one's really complicated, though. There's a lot of parts to that. that was a, it was written, inspired by all of Dickie Betts' cool instrumentals. Like, remember this Elizabeth Reed and True Gravity and uh, From the Madness of the West and Pegasus and High Falls and all those cool instrumental tunes. And uh, uh, anyway, if you want to go online and check out Sure Bets, I think you'll dig it. Of course, it was recorded in 1994, so the reverbs are a little undated, but that's all right. Uh, Adam Emerson says, Dickie nearly kicked my ass in 2005. He was known to kick ass. I'm going to tell you that right now. He was not... He was not a stranger to occasionally opening up a can of whoop ass. That was uh, part of his thing. What are you going to do? We all have our things. I myself am a, a lover. I'm not a fighter. Uh, yeah, exactly. Can you dig it? Oh, uh, he was high as a kite, and I mentioned Love Valley, North Dakota. Uh, that's because his, uh, he used to live there with his uh, first wife, I believe, or his second wife. He had four wives. That's, um, he's not a quitter. Um, but good God almighty, he wrote some fantastic songs. And a guitar playing son of a gun. Blue Sky was perfection. That was a great song. Uh, Dwayne plays great on that as well. Dwayne of the Almond. Uh, Dwayne of the Almond, the powerful soul. Uh, there you go. Uh, they also played a festival there in, in uh, North Carolina with uh, the original lineup. There was a festival there that happened. Uh, anyway, uh, you know what we're going to do now, friendos? We're going to do a little thing. Uh, Ooh, I like that. Sometimes we just like to... I'm a destroyer, not a fighter, says Bluesman. The Bluesman says, I am not a destroyer. I am a destroyer. I'm not a fighter. Uh, Justin, are you coming to the village? Idiot. This, uh, this weekend? I think you should. Or this week? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday? No, Thursday. Sorry. Thursday night, we're in uh, Maumee at the Village Idiot. Uh, uh, Maddie K wants to shuffle. Do you know what shuffle G and G we can do? We can do a little. Um... Listen to that filth. Uh, There's a little song that's a uh, dedication to my old buddy, Vody Reinhardt. And it's called Vody's Shuffle. The Vody Shuffle. I want to.
a song called The Vody uh, Shuffle. The Vody Shuffle is coming out strong. The Vody Shuffle all night long. I don't want to shuffle. Uh -huh. This is what we're going to do now. We're going to play an old tune of mine from back in the day. And it's called Too Broke, Stranded, Betrayed, and Too Broke to Drink You Off of My Damn Mind. Now, that's, that's a situation, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and it goes something like this here. Can you dig it? Will you dig it? All right, then. <laughs> Said you were low down, while others called you mean. But from where I was standing, well, none of those traits could be seen. Cause each time I fall, hook, line, and sinker. I end up stranded, betraying, and too broke to drink you off of my mind. Some folks are heartbreak magnet, or so the story goes. I pray to God above you that uh, I wouldn't be one of those. Cause each time I fall, hook, line, and sinker, I end up stranded, betrayed. Well, I'm worn to trouble But I'm just too doggone slow to learn Everyone has hard times I just had more than my turn Well, I shouldn't be ungrateful Cause I couldn't get no loving at all she said, yeah, every time I stay up, I fall. That's right. Thank you. 
But I'm just too slow to learn Everyone has a hard time I just had more than my turn Whoa. Well, I shouldn't be ungrateful No, no I could get no love on my tongue Just that air Every time I say yeah Well, at first they're all lovey-dovey Until they shape me to their way Then there goes my pride As well as my hard-earned pay Cause each time I fall Well, hook, line, and sinker I end up stranded, betrayed, and too broke to drink. Lord, I end up stranded, betrayed, and too, too broke to drink. One more time. I end up stranded, yeah, betrayed. That's a little thing called too broke. That too broke. See you in Dallas in May. We will be there, Richard. We will be there in May at the Dallas International Guitar Festival. A place of power, a place of savagery. You know what's a place of power and a place of savagery? Say what? But I can come back and do. Uh, Matthias, Matt, Matthias, Matthias is asking New York uh, City anytime soon. We may be there in fall. That's what we're aiming for to come back uh, east in the fall. We're going to try to do a uh, s another swipe down to Texas and then head out to uh, Colorado, um, Arizona, West Coast thing in July. That's what we're working on. Uh, we're going to be in Europa for a good month in September and first week in October. We'll put those dates up as soon as they're all solidified. Um, and then we're looking at the east in the fall, east in the fall, east in the fall. And uh, that's all there is to it. I should mention that the, um, uh, the record Melting the Farmhouse. I got it right that time. Melting the Farmhouse. Uh, is uh, going to be available on all streaming services on uh, April 26th. You, of course, can still get the vinyl through the website. You can certainly get the vinyl at gigs. I got plenty. And uh, you can get it immediately uh, for download if you wish to support us in that way on uh, Bandcamp, because we get more money if you get it from Bandcamp uh, when you get it on... Um, when you just listen to it on Spotify, we get you know a trickle. But we get a tinkle. <laughs> That sounds like urine. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to bring that to the fore. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, you know what we should do from the farmhouse? And then we go to the B flat. And then B flat, A, A flat, G. That's it. Someone asked if I was large. A lot of, a lot of times people go, that guitar looks small on you. It's like, I am 6'7". I'm 6'7", and uh, uh, closer to 300 pounds than I'd like to be. <laughs> but there's a lot of muscle now because I've been working out. A lot of muscle, been working out. <laughs> 300 pounds.
was a song about a six-legged fire-breathing dog. Got a six-legged fire-breathing dog. A six-legged fire-breathing dog. I got a six-legged fire-breathing dog. I got a six-legged fire-breathing dog. Got a Friends, I got a six-legged fire-breathing dog. And what a son of a bitch he is. So doggone dirty. It's good for your soul and good for your corns. Good for your soul and good for your corns. Uh, we might do a little blues for the kids. And we might do a little thing that we like to call... Um... <laughs> Shiza. Uh, you know what, let's do a little, uh, let's do a little Chiefs Blues. All right. The Chief comes. That's the one in A. Or, or how about, uh, how about Sweet Tea? Who have done that one? You don't know that one there? Shit. Uh, all right, this one, uh, this one. And the only thing different about that is at the end, we repeat that three times. Then it just got to go over the... That's it. And then off to the races. Off, and then off to the races. Can you dig it? Maddie K, you are correct. Those are the tunes on the record. And uh, it's good, clean fun. It's good, clean fun. Here we go.
Newsman says, New Zealand, where dinosaurs roam free. As they do here in Orange Room. When the dinosaur roams and they're coming on strong, laughing and drinking and singing the song. When the dinosaurs roam. Banjo player Zach says, see you at Guitar Summit. We will see you there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun when we go back to Deutschland. Thank you, Paul McEwen. Paul McEwen just gave us some loot. Paul McEwen. We appreciate the loot. We appreciate the loot. I'm having fun today playing this doggone guitar with the, my signature P90s with our friends at Fishman. And it brings forth the heat through the Tone King uh, Royalist. Now, I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a royalist per se in believing in the divine right of kings. I think that all people, regardless of race, color, or creed, are probably pretty defective. Am I right or am I right? And it takes stern and steadfast commitment to devoid oneself of dumb fuckery. And that's what we try to do here in Orange Room. We try to do our best to wean ourselves off the teat of dumb fuckery. <laughs> dumb fuckery. Dumb fuckery. Weed yourself from fuckery. Yeah. Oh, weed yourself. Wean yourself. Um, all right. <laughs> the Tone King populist. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to... Uh, can you dig your new Reverend guitar? That's coming soon. Um, uh, that is going, I can't show, I keep on saying to Ken, hey, when can I show my new guitar in the streams? He's like, not yet. Because the problem is that as soon as I show it, the dealers will be harassed. Like, where's that guitar? Where can we get this? Oh, no, no. Which I'm flattered that that's the case, but uh, I just want to play the damn guitar. And uh, unfortunately, that's a situation that's going to have to wait just a little longer, and then we can deploy and destroy um, can you dig it? Uh, let's leave the people with, uh... Uh, I don't know. Is there another one in A? Huh. Oh, uh... Yeah, it's hard. It's so hard. Oh, someone wants Creed. That's all right. We don't have any Creed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. That was horrible what I just did. I think it's time to leave him with a little, uh, little shuffle.
That was a festive Monday's sessions. It was a festive Monday session here in the room of Orange. Listen, folks, don't forget that we're going on the damn road this week. Mounting up the gristle missile. Although now that we have the new, uh, we got the new bulkhead in there, we have a little bit less space in the main area, but we can stack things all the way up to the seals. That's ceiling to you and I. And uh, we're going to have to see how that all works out. We're going to be able to fit it all. There's just no doubt about it. It's just going to be a different, a different, a different load. But we applaud. We applaud that challenge. You can go to the website, gregcock.com, and see the tour dates. But uh, if you live in um, uh, northwestern Ohio, we're coming. If you live in sweet Missouri by St. Louis, we're coming. If you live in Oklahoma, we're coming. If you live in Evansville, Indiana, we're coming. If you're in Dallas, Texas, we're coming. And then we're going to be in Chicagoland area. We're coming. And I encourage everyone to make a plan to come out and see Dylan and Toby and I as we are going to rock your brain with considerable vehemence and thrust. With vehemence and thrust, we will penetrate your brains in a benevolent way. In a benevolent way. Paul McEwen asks about UK. That's a very interesting... What's the date in Evansville? That is this Friday night. We're playing at Mojo's Boneyard in Evansville, Indiana. Mojo's Boneyard. It's a delicious place to feast. Mojo's Boneyard. And here's some rockin' beasts. Wow. That's true. Uh, listen. Uh, anyways, UK possibility for the fall. I got a guy working on it, so looks like the first week in October we will be in the UK. That's, that's what we are working on. Can you, can you dig it? Yes, thank you, Ryan Fitzsimmons, for doing what you do. Ryan Fitzsimmons is a fan of Scooby-Doo. Who isn't? Right? Sam, Sam Stamos says, Mojo's Boneyard, the Village Idiot, great bar names. They are indeed. John Stamos. Not John Stamos, Sam Stamos. <laughs> He's John Stamos' much better looking older brother. Or younger brother, as far as I know. And uh, John that's how, Oregon Coast. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see what we can do. We got some uh, things being booked for this summer. Uh, we're hoping, uh, Uncle Jesse, that is correct. That is the proper Stamos delineation. That's right. Uh, can you dig it? All right, folks, we thank you for the tips. We thank you for tuning in. Steve Andrioni on that bass. We got Dylan James Kuchenheimer Schmidt on the drums. And, uh, I'm your host, Gregory S. Cockery, Esquire, uh, Prime Minister of Skulldugification which is not a word, but it is now. All right, friendos, have a good remainder of your week. Uh, there'll be a replay on Friday because we'll be on the road. Where? Where's Friday? Evansville, Indiana. If you go to gregcock.com, so many things will unfold in front of your very eyes, including the opportunity to purchase the new vinyl, the new vinyl, which is called Melting the Firehouse. All right, see you later, Gators. <laughs>